Hi Radio Uyu, I'm roaming across your mind. Assalamualaikum, good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in to I Radio Uyu. And you're tuned in to another installment of entrepreneurship. And of course, we are here to inspire, inform and entertain you. And with me in the studios today, a very special segment of entrepreneurship with a very special guest. I have with me Mr. Astri Juso, the CEO of Action Coach Subang Jaya. Astri, welcome to I Radio Uyu. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Uh, firstly, I want to thank uh, Open University Radio mm-hmm. for the special invitation, mm-hmm. and we and uh, with me here is uh, Puan Zaini, mm-hmm. and he's also a, a director of Action Coach Subang Jaya. Mm-hmm. And um, okay, uh, uh, I would like to share some of the experience mm-hmm. uh, which uh, which we both together embark eh, mm-hmm. uh, in Action Coach for the last eight years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay now, uh, I'm sure most of our listeners are wondering, most of our audience are wondering Now what is Action Coach? You say you're from Action Coach, this is a new term for our listeners you see Can you share with us what is Action Coach and what exactly do you do? Okay, Action mm-hmm. Coach is just like any other franchisees uh, McDonald's, KFC, mm-hmm. Mary Brown, mm-hmm. uh, Starbucks and others So we are a business coaching firm mm-hmm. eh? Uh, headquarters in uh, Las Vegas, USA. Mm-hmm. We have over 2,300 uh, officers around the world, mm-hmm. so-called uh, uh, franchises like me. Okay? Mm-hmm. So uh, I became the uh, franchisee, so-called Action Coach Subhan Jaya, mm-hmm. uh, since uh, April 2006. Yeah? It has been almost eight years in the market. Mm-hmm. And we coach business owners. Yeah? Uh, in Malay, we call it We Bing Bing, mm-hmm. yeah? uh, business owners, as well as the team members. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, small business ent- enterprises in Malaysia has been categorized as a sales, uh, sales, sales achievement below 25 million. Mm-hmm. So, there are plenty of markets in Malaysia actually. And um, until today, lots of people still do not understand the, the real methodology of coaching. Isn't it? And uh, on top of your mind, they say, uh, uh, training is better. Training is better. Uh-huh. In fact, in fact, uh, training is really obsolete. Really. Uh-huh. Uh, coaching comes to the picture where we can unleash people's uh, potential through uh, coaching, number of hours, and so on. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. right. So it's it's. It's like training but not training. Or is it totally different from training? It's totally different from training. I yeah. see. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of light bulbs are uh, going off in people's head right now. So it's pretty sure that we are going to talk about uh, Action Coach. And we're going to, talk, to, to, to take a look at how business owners, how um, companies and bosses and all that, you're going to uh, perhaps empower your employees. With Swiss coaching. Okay, now we're going to take a small break first. Don't go anywhere, Shastri will still be with me after the break. Only on our radio, you am roaming across your mind. I really owe you and roaming across your mind. Still tuned in to entrepreneurship today. Okay, now with me in the studios is Mr. Astri Jusso from Action Coach. Now, he's here today to talk about the importance of developing your greatest asset. Now, as business owner, as entrepreneurs, your greatest asset is actually not your uh, financials, his or her financials, the buildings, equipments, manufacturing equipments, or the, even the services or products that the people the, the businessman is offering actually but the the entrepreneur's most important asset is actually the employees the heart of the organization itself and realizing this is very important actually eh, Jashri, for the entrepreneurs to know that they need to capitalize on this particular asset this very very important asset and they need to nurture empower this very important element in their business what's your take Jashri? okay thank you very much All right. mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, truly agree with this statement where uh, employee is the greatest asset. Is it? Mm-hmm. But for entrepreneurs, they say the asset is always uh, the building, the cars, the material, the stock mm-hmm. that they have. Mm-hmm. But uh, the problem with these uh, small business owners, uh, uh, I would say in Malaysia, mm-hmm. okay, uh, they they don't think that the employee is the asset is it? Mm-hmm. because uh, they thought that the asset is. Uh, the one that I mentioned just now. Mm-hmm. But along the way, uh, after three years in operation, they found that they still work alone, they can't expand the business, mm-hmm. they still doing the, uh, the same old thing, and then 
the, the job content keep on increasing. Mm -hmm. So that's why Koi King come into the picture where where uh, I spend with them uh, three hours a week, yeah? uh, a total of uh, nine to ten hours a month, yeah? telling them what to do with with, with, with the employee, with all the all the resources that they have in, in their small business. Mm -hmm. Even though even though even though they started with a small, is it? But actually, there are a lot of potential in the business. So, what um, what we do or what I've been doing with the team basically is we design the special program, not the banker, not the workshop, is it? Mm -hmm. But it's a continuous learning on a weekly basis mm -hmm. for the team members, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, as well as the uh, the business owner. Mm -hmm. This is where we can capture the uh, call it uh, potential, the talent of of every employee, is it? Mm -hmm. And. Um, Based on my experience coaching the small uh, SMEs in Malaysia, mm -hmm. many of SMEs, I would say that 10, uh, uh, 8 out of 10, mm -hmm. don't have the uh, proper job scope or uh, job scope for their employees. Mm -hmm. Even though they have a job scope, but the content is not up to date. Is it? So in a way, um, when employees come to work every day, mm -hmm. they don't really know what, what to do, what to, to deliver, mm -hmm. as what the uh, employer expect. expect mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. So they just do uh, what they know better, what they know better, mm -hmm. what they know better is it? Mm -hmm. So in the coaching program, one of the uh, one of the item which I always emphasize is build up your employees' job scope and contents mm -hmm. as well as key performance indicators. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, how to measure them, how to reward them, mm -hmm. how to remember them, everything mm -hmm. is it? So our business concept basically is. Um, uh, telling the business owner said one day the business should run without him or her. Uh, in fact, mm -hmm. action business definition is uh, says that a uh, uh, business means a commercial and profitable enterprise that works well without the owner. Mm -hmm. It means not only you have a product uh, you can sell because of the demand, mm -hmm. not only you have a profit, is it? But it should run. Or in a way, it must run without you around. Mm -hmm. huh? Without you around, because we have a team, we have employees, is it? We have employees to uh, to take care of a uh, day-to-day -day job. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as small business owners, uh, uh, small business initial grow up from zero days to three years, three years to five years, mm -hmm. the business owners feel very uh, very tense eh, along the way because of uh, sales, marketing, profitability, and so on. So if they cannot uh, cannot do, uh, they do something. If they on the third year or on the fifth year, mm -hmm. that's where the business become plateau or getting smaller and smaller. Is it because uh, the business owners itself cannot run a business? Eh? Mm -hmm. They themselves they have to get the employees come to the picture with the system and then run the business as usual. Mm -hmm. That's why I say the our business definition is not only profitable but but it must run with the system with the help of the employees. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and, and this, it's actually very sad and it's very unfortunate because I think when it comes to entrepreneurs and all that, when they come up with their business plan, they have all the marketing plan, the distribution plan, all the manufacturing plan, but then all of a sudden when it comes to the employees, no plan. No plan. Yeah, yeah so it's just such a, such a shame, right? Okay, okay. The, uh, based on my experience also, mm -hmm. small business owners, most of them, mm -hmm. I, I would say that Six out of ten eh? mm -hmm. don't have the uh, uh, financial literacy, <laughs> so they don't read the number. They they don't even have uh, accounting records, so they don't see the profit. Mm -hmm. What they see is the sales amount every day or mm -hmm. every week or every month. Mm -hmm. eh? So they don't really have in mind the amount, how much the amount they should invest mm -hmm. or labo mm -hmm. on on the employees. Mm -hmm. eh? Whereas uh, if, if if we see uh, a, a corporate organization, mm -hmm. they spend million dollars every year. Mm -hmm. eh? to upgrade or uh, upskilling the employees. So SME is basically, uh, during my coaching, uh, uh, one of the coaching content basically, mm -hmm. to get them to budget mm -hmm. on the employees, how much you're going to spend, mm -hmm. and if you would spend this X amount, your company must be profitable of X and X amount. Mm -hmm. so, so with that, the, the small, medium, and uh, owners, uh, mm -hmm. business owners mm -hmm. can see that, okay? 
the business must be profitable mm -hmm. and this profit will be utilized or will be spent on certain areas in the business mm -hmm. the, for the long term and also as well for the short term. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what coaching is all about. This is this is where the difference between coaching and training or mm -hmm. banking or workshop mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. where the business owners always uh, get in touch with the coach, is it? Uh, through emails through fast, mm -hmm. through Facebook now this mm -hmm. and of course uh, schedule a visit as I said just now it's three hours per week mm -hmm. or roughly nine to ten hours a month mm -hmm. okay so there you have it a little look into how empowering uh, employees can actually go a long way in developing your business okay now if you're like me you probably make the mistake of uh, confusing coaching with training well you're not going to make that mistake anymore after this because after the break Chiasu will share with us how coaching is different from training so if you want to know more stay tuned to our radio we am roaming across your mind Thank you so much for still tuning in to iRadio OUM. You're listening in to the entrepreneurship segment and with me in the studios is a very special guest, yes, producer from Action Coach Subang Jaya, who's sharing with us about coaching, about business, about nurturing your employer, the great employees, the greatest asset in your organization. Now, before the break, I, uh, I mentioned the word coaching and training and how these two words are actually used interchangeably, mistakenly used interchangeably changeably by the masses now coaching is, is a very very uh, effective way to to nurture employees actually and for the benefit of our listeners then our audience can you share with us about coaching itself now what is coaching and how exactly is it different from training okay mm -hmm. uh, coaching uh, uh, costs you a very long hours huh? mm -hmm. but normally we lock we lock uh, from 6 to 12 months mm -hmm. uh, with each uh, SME. Mm -hmm. So um, just imagine that we spend 3 hours a week uh, in the organization up to 10 hours a month mm -hmm. as compared to a training uh, start from 9 to 5 o'clock and then uh, with the uh, follow-up program uh, or uh, follow-up item that, that, that we, uh, we ask the, the we are the customer to do it. In Asian Coast language, we call it home fund. Mm -hmm. Home fund is the, the action item that mm -hmm. they have to do, okay, uh, prior to the next meeting. Mm -hmm. So just imagine that uh, a 12 month program where every week business owner have to fulfill uh, the home fund. Mm -hmm. So uh, people still confuse uh, or, or, or say, uh, don't really understand mm -hmm. what is consulting, what is training, and what is. Uh, Coaching mm -hmm. and, and what is what is advisory? Mm -hmm. is it? So uh, a consultant normally come uh, into the SMEs uh, by, uh, by doing and by doing all the job, all the unfinished job on behalf of the uh, business owner. Mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. And uh, training is just uh, delivering a nine to five uh, content. Mm -hmm. But coaching basically, the coach come into the organization mm -hmm. uh, telling. At the same time, uh, train the business owners mm -hmm. where he or she will do the unfinished job. Mm -hmm. You can see a difference, isn't it? Mm -hmm. is it? So, in a way, we we teach people how to fish, not just uh, giving a fish. Mm -hmm. But me as a coach, uh, we give fish. Eh? Mm -hmm. I, I, I do give fish for one or two times. Uh -huh. After that, uh, they have to go for their own fish. Because at the end of the day, uh, this business belongs to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the coaching, uh, during the coaching period, eh, okay, uh, I, I'm still uh, talking about a difference between the uh, workshop, a eh, training against the coaching. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we we uh, we implant the concept of uh, profitable culture. Mm -hmm. Profitable culture means uh, uh, telling the business owners do the right thing at the first place. Okay. And in a way, uh, we can produce the, re the results. Uh, the result could be uh, uh, staff, re uh, staff retainment, uh, profitability, mm -hmm. uh, high dividend, uh, uh, increase in asset, and so on. Is it? Mm -hmm. But uh, if if you look at this uh, uh, training, is it? Mm -hmm. There's no follow up after the training. 
to the front. So if they say that today I deliver sales and marketing mm -hmm. nine to five, then finish no one and follow up. But coaching, I do deliver the same content also. But next week I'll be talking with the uh, business owners mm -hmm. what are things that, that they have done and they have not done. Mm -hmm. So from there uh, we call it we we zoom into the areas that they really don't understand. They don't really uh, we call it uh, they're confused in their own business. Mm -hmm. So we take the amount uh, we take the item as one of these uh, action items of the week. So we keep on we keep on uh, adding to the list of Asian items uh, throughout the period of 12 months. Is it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so every three months eh, we run a quarterly planning. Mm -hmm. Quarterly planning which, mm -hmm. which touches all aspects. Just now you did mention about when we do a business plan, we have, uh, we have financial, we have mm -hmm. marketing plan, but, but we don't really plan on the employees. Mm -hmm. in, in that case, when we run a 90 day planning, mm -hmm. we cover all aspects. Yeah, not just profitability, not just sales. We cover on the how to how to increase the potential of every people in the organization. Mm -hmm. So it really involve uh, it really involve uh, big amount eh? uh, investment okay? because we need to spend for in order for, to get the to get the results. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I hope that with this. Uh, uh, there's a clear uh, uh, differentiation between mm -hmm. the coaching, training, okay. as well as consulting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, of course, uh, some some of the business owners or some of the employers listening uh, in our audience is probably wondering now. When, when it comes to coaching yeah, their employees or empowering their employees with coaching, uh, is proper training needed when it comes to uh, an entrepreneur who wants to empower their employees with coaching? Is, 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 it, is, it, is it something that they need to go through before they can coach their employees? Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it, it's a must. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Alright. Uh, I'm a coach. Mm -hmm. okay. Basically, I coach the business owner so that they they become a coach for their employees one day. Is it? That's why most of this uh, coaching content is is more towards the the employers. Is it so that uh, so that uh, whenever I teach them or whenever, or whenever I coach them, he or she will go and coach the, the employees. Is it? But along the way. There are a lot of distractions, is it? And they have to go out station. Mm -hmm. They have to look into the good into that, mm -hmm. So, um, uh, but but uh, uh, employees, quantity uh, the, the employees is the is the best concept now, mm -hmm. because uh, to me, uh, whatever it is, at the end of the day, the business still belongs to it. Mm -hmm. It's not and this business is not belong to that consultant, mm -hmm. not belong to the coach, is it? Yeah. Okay, now, of course, if you're interested in coaching your employees, then you need to stay tuned because after the break, Jashu will share with us some of the things that an entrepreneur or business owner should take a look at or should focus on when you're trying to develop or nurture your employees. So if you want to know more, you need to stay tuned to R&D OUM. Radio OUM roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still listening in to iRadio OUM in today's installment of Entrepreneurship where we have a very special guest with us in the studio talking about empowering, about nurturing your employees via coaching. Now, Jashri, can you share with us what are the elements if an entrepreneur or a business owner is really interested in empowering or coaching their employees what are the the the, the elements or the the aspects that they should consider or should focus on when developing their employees okay based on my experience coaching for the last uh, seven or almost eight years mm -hmm. uh, an organization okay which um, which were planted a profitable culture where Almost all employees knows to read, knows how to read the financial statement. Eh? Mm -hmm. They have a better future. <laughs> they have a better future. Eh? Uh, I came across one or two companies which, before I embarked in, 50% uh, uh, of the staff knows how to read financial statement. That means it's easier for the business owner to do planning, talk about business, and so on. Mm -hmm. So as compared to an organization which a staff don't know. Mm -hmm. How to read statement? Mm -hmm. So, 
uh, this is one of the items, eh? the one of the Asian item where, where when when I coach and business owners, where uh, each employees must go through the process of uh, 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 learning how to read the financial statement, even though they are not in the uh, accounts or finance mm -hmm. division, is it? Because at the end of the day, when when they do their own budgeting eh, for their department, mm -hmm. when they do the planning, all about numbers. Mm -hmm. So and when you when you understand the number, you speak the same language with your with your boss, eh, with your managing director, mm -hmm. or with the uh, you call it uh, CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. So to me, uh, as a coach, I always uh, I always advise the business owner. Say number one, uh, it is good to have a profitable culture in your organization. And through that profitable culture, you see, uh, make sure that um, make sure that all your staff is equipped with this necessary information, necessary skill according to current needs. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, now this, uh, um, uh, some employees, uh, as I said just now, uh, some employees don't really have the the uh, uh, proper job scope. Mm -hmm. What they have is just a general work scope, mm -hmm. which uh, don't really specify Monday, Tuesday, what it is supposed to do on every day. Mm -hmm. So there's a profitable culture actually, working, uh, working at work scope, mm -hmm. and do something without, without, uh, without any distraction. Mm -hmm. So it takes the, it, it takes about one or two months uh, sometimes to read the coaching. We develop uh, a proper uh, job content. Uh, uh, to make sure that employees do the necessary work mm -hmm. and uh, over six months of operation and we can we can gauge or, or we can measure the employee whether uh, whether they have done they have done what they're supposed to do mm -hmm. and how we can remunerate and for those organizations which have a, a problem uh, a problem uh, how to retain employees and eh? how to get how to attract employees and how to get the real employees. It's all boils back to they don't know what to offer to the employees, mm -hmm. and once they offer, they don't really know what to what to. Eh? They don't really know the design, now, how to design the the contents of work for the employees. Mm -hmm. So if if the employee comes to work for them, say for one or two years, is it? So this employee say, eh? I also don't know what's going on in this company. <laughs> what I know is clock in, clock out mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. I don't really know uh, how much. How much the company make? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, where the money goes to? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's all about uh, it's all about uh, secrets. Mm -hmm. So, if we can change this uh, ways of doing things, methodology of running a business, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I'm I'm confident that uh, the retention of uh, employees yeah, will be very very high although mm -hmm. actually uh -huh. very very high mm -hmm. because of employees can see where the company is saving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a as a business owner we just uh, we don't uh, we just need to share uh, the uh, performance of the company, the future of the company to the staff mm -hmm. uh, uh, through numbers. Mm -hmm. See the sales increase by how much mm -hmm. uh, the expenses increase by how much is it? So if the employees knows how to read the financial statement, mm -hmm. uh, the basic financial statement, mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, they can generate more uh, uh, beautiful working environment, mm -hmm. uh, and, and at the end of the day, they can assist the business owner in 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 all aspects of problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even the financial statement actually plays a big yeah. role. Okay. Yeah, role. Okay, we're going to take a small break first. After the break, Joshua will still be with us and share more with us on Coaching Only on our radio OUM, roaming across your mind. Radio Uli, I'm roaming across your mind, still tuned into entrepreneurship in today's installment of Entrepreneurship with me, Haim. We have with us Encik Asri Jusof from Action Coach Subang Jaya, who's sharing with us about empowering your employees, yeah, coaching your employees. And for business owners, it's very, very important because employees are your greatest asset. Now, Encik Asri, we know that uh, there's actually no one size 
fits all uh, sort of solution for any problems yeah and for the entrepreneur how can they actually determine how can they know which approach is actually the best to use when it comes to coaching the employees that are of course they are different the employees are different from one another what's the best approach to do so okay uh, my suggestion is that uh, get a coach and then uh, the tool will do the gap analysis of uh, every department okay? and it is impossible to do gap, gap analysis for every employee so mm -hmm. you have a small number of employees mm -hmm. but SMEs generally they have about 10 to 20 employees we still can do gap analysis eh? what are things uh, areas of improvement which you can uh, which we can embark on from one person to another and from there we can design the um, uh, coaching method, uh, coaching content mm -hmm. for for every person or the department itself. So one size fits all is not really, uh, it's not really, we call it, it's not really good nowadays mm -hmm. as compared to last time because people change, uh, people change, time change mm -hmm. due to due to technology and so on. So um, when the company is profitable, actually we can do wonders mm -hmm. with this with this employee. Mm -hmm. the, the, the biggest problem is when SME or other company is not profitable, that's where we cannot invest on the employees. Mm -hmm. So my advice is basically uh, uh, we can we can take away 1% uh, of, of the sales every month or every year eh, and invest it on the, on the employees so that we can get the fruit of the, uh, the effort in, in the next year. Mm -hmm. So um, since uh, two, we uh, we are now at the end of the uh, 2012, mm -hmm. so it is best to to allocate some some amount mm -hmm. in 2003 uh, business, mm -hmm. it? say 1.5 percent or 2 percent of the total sales next year to be invested in the uh, in the performance of the employees mm -hmm. of, of uh, small business organizations. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, now, uh, Cik Ashri, unfortunately, we're almost at the end of our segment, but of course, before we wrap up, uh, would you like to share your advice to, with our audience? Okay, uh, I'm also a business owner like, like, like everybody out there, mm -hmm. doing a franchisee of uh, Action Coach for almost eight years and one of the seven in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a cash flow. The cash flow is not uh, the cash flow is the number one in, in any businesses. Some people said uh, profitable uh, get a, their company profitable is number one. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, profit doesn't mean that uh, the company is having good cash flow. So get a coach, uh, any coach in Malaysia, mm -hmm. and work with the coach mm -hmm. and get the company profitable. Mm -hmm. And when you have a profit, then eh, we can invest in employees. We can invest in asset so that these employees and asset turn out the more profits next year and so on. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and I'll see you all again sometime. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, actually, uh, last question. If <laughs> if our audience out there are interested to get in touch with you, how can they do so? Okay, uh, can log on to my website at mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so or you can email me at uh, asiduso at ashenco.com mm -hmm. or, or you can log on to uh, Facebook mm -hmm. asiduso as well as Asian Coach Subanjaya. Mm -hmm. yeah? I am I'll be more than happy to assist yeah? whoever I want to ask more questions or whatever. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, so now <laughs> we're already at the end of our segment. Let me just take this opportunity to thank you so much, Jay Astri, for sharing with us a lot of enlightening ideas about coaching, about employee empowerment. Okay, so for more interesting and inspiring segments, you need to stay tuned for iRadio OUM. But right now, this is me signing off. You have a great day ahead. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.